Good morning, sunrise. Good morning. Yo. <laughs> Day 27, no alcohol, January challenge. Yeah. How's everybody doing? How we got going on? What's, what's, what's the good word? I know Scott's not drinking pop or energy drinks. Uh, Wayne's killing it on not eating sweets. Pam's killing it. She's even down in Louisiana where they got them king cakes right now. And she's, she wants a king cake, but she's, she's killing it. Um, no alcohol for Tanya or I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say we, this weekend we worked pretty hard. Um, and one of the things that we, you know, usually like when you have a really hard day, like in my experience, I should say, or my opinion, like I would want a beer or something afterwards to like, oh, I worked hard, I deserve a good, nice cold beer. And this weekend, it really didn't even like phase me. I didn't even think about it. I was more just like excited for the progress we did and I was more just hungry than anything and I didn't even think about alcohol once. Um, it never even passed my mind. So. Sure, and you and even, you and I even talked like mm -hmm. as we got tired and and hungry, then it was like, damn, I could go for some pizza, or damn, I could go for some, you know. And that's that's the that's kind of the problem with society is we've taught ourselves that everything is a treat, mm -hmm. and everything is special, and everything. Oh, it's Friday, we gotta go out to eat, or it's Monday, we gotta have this or whatever. Or I worked really hard, and I did this, so I deserve to have. Whatever. Sure, and and so a lot of the treat system and shit is actually what's kind of hurting us because now we have a treat on Monday and on Tuesday and on Wednesday and on Thursday all the way through Sunday and then Friday comes, well now we're going to go out to eat and we're going to get, you know, have a few drinks and then Saturday, well shit, football's on, let's get some pizza, let's do the thing, you know, just like that, your diet and exercise are trashed. And it's easy to do. Like mm -hmm. like I said, you know, when, when we got done with the bus on Saturday at 5 o'clock, it was like, damn, Pizza Hut was right in front of us. And mm -hmm. it was like, damn, I could go for some pizza. But obviously we didn't. Um, that's, that's some of the things we planned for. Uh, having food prepared, having everything ready to go um, so that we're, we're successful. I mean, we preach it to you guys every day. And we follow it I mean I, I spent half the day yesterday preparing our meals for the week mm -hmm. that way we have food like it's there's no it's not it's not it's not hard no it's super simple mm -hmm. it's just not easy and it's not how some people want to spend their Sunday but if you think about it you spend you know a few hours on Sunday prepping your food for the week you're setting yourself up for success the entire week you don't have to think about what you're gonna make for supper when you get home off work. You don't have to think about, oh well, crap! I don't have. I forgot to grab um, or make lunch this after or for work this afternoon, so now I have to go out to eat. Or, you know, you're just you're setting your whole week up for success. So you're basically taking that extra time that you're spending on Sunday away from what you would have to during the week. Yeah, and growing up, I remember my parents working all day and then coming home and then making dinner. And now I look back like. The last thing I want to do when I get back is make dinner, like, you know, my, but I know that my stuff's prepared. I can get to work on working on clients' meal plans and stuff like that when I get off work. Or set the time aside for yourself to, to do something that's a goal of yours or, or whatever it may be. Sure. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it just, it, it truly does help. So, you got to meal prep. You got to at least get good stuff, good snacks that you have around, stuff stuff that does seriously set you up for success um with that 27 days mm -hmm. good job to everybody i know the girls that started on uh they were on day 14 last night they messaged me and they were both kicking ass so that's that's what we're hoping for that's what we're looking for but if it's day 27 mm -hmm. that means we're only a few days away from february so what is February's challenge going to be? I guess we'll see come February. Um, with that, we appreciate y'all. We thank y'all. Spread love. Bye, guys.